Brian Mulligan, uh, the vice chairman of Deutsche Bank, which is always a little awkward to say, uh, <laughs> apparently got beaten up by LAPD after he was running around in traffic. Uh, they had a very difficult time restraining him, uh, and apparently they got into a physical altercation. Now, what's interesting about this situation is Brian Mulligan is now suing the LAPD for using excessive force. However, uh, the LAPD has recordings that indicate that he was possibly on drugs while they were trying to restrain him. So let's take a look at the first video that kind of explains the situation in a little more detail. The report reveals Mulligan asked officers to take him to a nearby motel to rest before driving home. Officers took him to Highland Park Motel and left. Three hours later, the same officers responded to a traffic investigation and according to the police report, noticed Mulligan running into the path of oncoming traffic in a busy intersection near the motel. I love that response. Like, we don't want him to get hit by a car. So let's beat the shit out of him a little bit. <laughs> no, but they were trying to get him off. From, I understand. From what yeah, I understand, he was fighting yeah. back against them. They were trying to get him off the street, and he was being very difficult. And if you look at photos of what the LAPD did to his face, it was serious. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, the car could have done a little bit more damage, possibly, but he, yeah, broken, uh, broken scapula, uh, facial lacerations, fifteen stra uh, fractures to his nasal nasal area. So they definitely. Beat him he up. Basically, There's his no nose was, his it. nasal bones were just confetti at the end of that, apparently. Right. 15 for extras. But the LAPD is alleging that he was not some easy guy to deal with, and it's n he's not telling the whole story. In fact, after he got arrested and he was speaking to um, you know officials, the recording indicated that he was on bath salts. Let's listen. <laughs> I went to a head shop and I bought some of that white lightning happened. stuff, which was bought at a store. So then I bought some more. I said, this stuff. Small container? Yeah, small container. You snort it? Yes. Bath salts? I don't know what it is, but it was stuff bad. Causing psychosis. Yes, causes well. hallucinations, it, auditory. So I could make it, I, the whole thing could be made up in when my mind. When was the last time you used it? Uh, two weeks ago? Okay. How long does this stuff stay in your fucking system? And how's it legal? Bath salts? Yeah. Is a... It's a close relative of methamphetamine. It's completely yeah. synthetic, and they, they market it as bath salts, yeah. and it's marked on the container not for human consumption. That's how they sell it, because they market it as something you're not supposed to ingest, even though they yeah. fully intend for you to ingest it. It's a loophole in the law. It is legal to possess. It's pretty well documented that it causes brain damage, auditory, oh, visual hallucination. It, it causes those things to become permanent fairly quickly. It is dangerous, nasty, nasty I'm shit. I'm going to throw it up. So in that anyway. video, he indicates that he took uh, bath salts over 20 times. It's an interesting piece of information. I can't really make a judgment on this because I feel like we don't have enough information yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, he's suing the LAPD for a million dollars uh, because of the, I'm sorry, $50 million um, because of the medical costs and you know emotional distress and all of that other stuff. So we'll see what ends up mm -hmm. happening. But just don't do bath salts. That's the moral of the story. That's the only yeah. reason why. Because that, He's an when executive. have we done a story? When have we ever done it? Exactly. You're an executive. What makes you think taking bath salts is a good idea? Yeah. Over 20 times. And by the way, the reason why sometimes people take bath salts and it's totally fine is because they were sold at you know dispensaries and things mm -hmm. like that, or or smoke shops, I should say. And since it's not regulated by the government. Some bath salts have higher dosages than yeah. others. So you never know what you're going to get. No, here, so you might have taken it 19 times and it was totally fine, but then the 20th totally time you took yeah. it, it's like a stronger dose, and all of a sudden you're running around in traffic. Yeah. Well, here's how you know not to take bath salts. So this guy had major hallucinations, started running through traffic, and had the shit beat out of him by LAPD. And that is the best, most positive ending to a bath salt story ever on this show.